What is going on, everybody? Back on it. Hunter Hunter, episode 121. Getting a good head start here. I'm actually recording this Thursday night, um, so you guys will see this on Monday. Try to get ahead, because it's getting getting wild out here with our schedule. I want to make sure we don't fall behind. Um, I'm just scanning over the comments from last video. Pretty much majority of you kind of reiterating the same. Should I move this? This thing is like on my face here a little bit. Let's see. Yeah, that's cool right there. <laughs> um... Just kind of giving me deep dive and explanations on Poof's abilities. Um, so I'm getting kind of making sure I have an understanding of him breaking his cells or breaking his body down or his cells down to a cellular level. Um, but the, the main one, if him can only get to the, to the size of a bee, they're immune to all physical attacks. Which, I mean, I guess they just kind of pop after. So immune or not affected, however you want to describe that. I guess my only remaining question on that specific ability of his is how strong are the attacks that his little cellular or clones can do i had contradicting explanations on the more clones he makes the more his power gets distributed so the less they'll be so maybe if he retracts the number of them the less clones the stronger they'll be the more the weaker they'll be can he do that on command though like once he's put out clones can he be like okay i've got a semi-strong opponent here let me dismember some of them and make less stronger can he do that or do they need to be destroyed all of them and then he remakes them again i'm sure you guys will explain that um and i guess the biggest question i had was because he was talking about how he had planned to just kill moral's friends like one at a time um my kind of drawback to that would be are those are his clones even strong enough to kill our group our whole group is then using humans that have you know exceptional or above average maybe I, like i don't know if poof is underestimating the people that moral is with um if he's thinking they're just kind of average humans that he's kind of been around like kamugi and some of the others kamogi he probably thinks he could pick them off but does he expect them to have nen above average speed above average strength i don't know the kind of damage output his clones can put out so you guys can answer that um, and pretty much all the comments kind of revolved all around that. And then we still had debate, which confuses me more on Moral's ability. Is this man a manipulator or a transmuter? Um, I'm just going to go with manipulation. I think he carries around the pipe and it being that big just to produce um, a large amount of smoke. Now, I think there might be, I don't know off the top of my head, but I feel like there would be better ways to produce large amounts of smoke instead of carrying around the big burden of a huge pipe. You've got to lug it around. Everybody sees it. They know you're using it. Um, but my theory behind it or thought process is moral as a manipulator. He carries that big of a pipe to produce large amounts of smoke and he puts his Nen into the smoke and then manipulates it from there. Um, I would like to think a hunter of his level and his like skill um, would have s skill beyond the pipe because if the pipe gets taken like it is here, he's pretty much just an, uh, a human that can use Nen, but his main ability is useless, so he can just kind of use Geo and Ren and Ten and all that stuff, but he he might as well just be an average human standing there. Um, so I would like to think maybe he has something up his sleeve that me, in this point that I've watched, haven't seen yet. Or maybe he is pretty much worthless without the pipe, which I would hope that he's not. Um, I had some people saying that he carries around the pipe that big because of it's a special condition to make the control of the smoke stronger or transmutation. Or just, just kind of a lot of stuff right there. But I'm going to say he's a manipulator and the pipe's that big. Um, I don't know if he needs to carry like little cigarettes with him at all times or something that like... Because it's not like the pipe is something that like his enemy won't see. It is huge. And if I'm his opponent, I'm going to think, okay, well, let me see if I get rid of this pipe. What can he do? And that's kind of the point we're at right here. He has no pipe. So can he transmutate his aura into smoke and then manipulate the smoke from there? Um, can he co conjure something? I, I don't know. We'll find out. We'll find out. And then we saw that... um. We had a comment related to Palm in the last episode. I don't know if Poof made the comment or one of the other grunt ants made the comment of what the status was or something on the human that they had captured. I'm guessing that human is Palm. Why else? Who else would it be and why would it be important if it wasn't Palm? Um, 
and then we saw Nove come onto the scene and re- come onto the scene and rescue Knuckle. My question to that is, how would Nove know, or why would he show up? Did he just want to see like the status if everybody's alive? Are they dead? What's going on? Do they need my help? Is that why he just popped up and then he happened to run into Shoot at the same time? Did Shoot somehow? Activate one of no because I'm pretty sure Nove is the only one that can open and close his own portal. So I don't know why Nove showed up. I mean, it's good, you know, save shoots life. Um, but we'll see. And at the end of the last episode, we had Poof walk in the room. We're gone in uh, Pito R. Um, I would like to think if Pito wanted to, he could literally just chop Gon's head off, and it wouldn't even be a fight or an issue. Even though physically, I think. Um, Poof is the weakest of the three guards, but I still think everybody that we have minus Netero is no match for any of the guards if we're talking hand to hand strength, Nen, combat. That's just my opinion up till now. Maybe, I mean, you guys know more than I do at this point, but judging up to this point of the story, Gone and everybody has shown me nothing to think that they could take a guard 1v1 if a guard really wanted to kill them. Um,. The only reason I could see Poof not just charging in there and slicing this man's head off, like Kilua um, assassin style, um, is Pito tells him, I have to heal this girl, don't cause any damage in this room. Um, this boy sitting here because he says he's going to kill me or he wants my help and I got to do this. And I don't know why Poof just wouldn't try to remove the boy. Um, but maybe I'll get an explanation on it here. Like, I don't know why Poof would let Gon sit there to distract her or hurt her or do anything like that. But maybe Poof's only motivation, like we've seen, is the king. And if it's not revolved around the king, whatever happens to Pito, like, that's whatever. Um, yeah, so let's see if we find out why, because I'm guessing it's going to happen. Why would Poof leave Gon alive? Um, and hopefully we'll find out. So, episode 121. We are a minute and 40 seconds in. A minute 40. Titled Defeat and Dignity. Pressing play right now. Oh, let's get it. Oh, okay. We're right back here. I thought we were going to go hang out in that elevator again or something. That's what I'm saying. Why did she make noise? She could have killed him. Is, it, is she worried because of gone? Or is she worried because... Is she worried because she wants to do this for the king? She's not scared of gone. She's scared of what she won't be able to do for the king, is my guess. I'm trying to get... I don't think she's threatened by gone. I think she's just threatened of not being able to do what the king asked. I just don't take Gon's tough guy act seriously. I don't know why. I haven't been a very big Gon fan the last 10 to 20 or so. This whole arc, really. Is he just, like, pulled out an electrical wire and getting he's getting charged back up? I gotta go re- I gotta recharge up. He's like, my battery died. noticed like I feel like Poof really could have gotten up there before Gon would have gotten to Kamugi 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 but doesn't matter now he knows he's there and here we are let's see what happens from it I'd love to see Poof smack the shit out of Gon one time for the one time. What does Poof do? Alright, off to find the king. See you guys later.
Don't, Poof. Don't you dare. That's what I'm saying. Poof. Just leave. You're going to let Gon pin down two guards. With what can ha you UP going to walk in there too? And take a seat and we're all just going to sit Indian style or what? Oh lord help me. He's not going to say anything. Hmm. There, telepathically. I expect UP to walk in there and be like, guys, what's going on? Gon's like, don't you move. Take a seat. What aspect of the explosion does he want controlled? Pumping himself up. Oh, this time he's harnessing it. He's not letting it get all bubbly and blistery. Oh, God. Got a, what am I looking at right now? Some kind of, uh, what is it called? Half man, half horse. Uh, I forget. Y'all can leave it in the comments. Oh, okay. Blown. Got a whole scythe on one arm. I don't know what that Tiki Crash Bandicoot other... Oh, he's not controlling it. It's exploding or no. That Crash Bandicoot Tiki other... That other arm is that he has? Oh my god. 55,000. 60,000. That thing is huge. He might actually bottom out. They just trying to hold off till that point or what? Got ten clones left. They're gonna be screwed if he doesn't bottom out by then. He noticed. Okay, where are we down to three? Four. He no longer had the strength to move his puppets around. He's about tapped out too. Okay, that's got to be it. That's why he's out of breath. He's going to die before he runs out of nan. Dang, Moral's really tapped out. We're not, I'm never going to get to see the answers to my questions about what he has up his sleeve when he run, doesn't have the pipe. Damn.
I wanted to see what a top rated pro hunter could do. Such a big bird and like he has carrying around that pipe. If you lose the pipe, what are you? Like a like Spider Man without the suit, what are you without the pipe? Just an average dude or Hopefully he bottoms out before he slices him with that. Is that arm he has? What, does he want to keep him alive, or...? He's like, let's run it back. You got any kind of sensu beans or anything in this universe? Gonna keep him alive. Uh oh. I don't know what the fluff that arm is. You gonna bottom out? Don't. Moral is in my top three of favorite characters. Don't tell me he goes out like this. Don't do it. Don't do it. Okay. Halfway, how much time do we have? About eight minutes left. Okay, we're halfway. Don't do it. Disappeared. Where'd he go? He did make contact. Did he go between one of the portals or? Didn't go through a Nove portal. What the hell did he do? If the chameleon touched him and moved, or... He's going to piece it together. Oh god, he did. He turned invisible. He turned invisible and moved out of the way. Wow, UP. I don't know if that's smart of him, but like he's really piecing this together. He was supposed to be the dumb one. Now you just got to find him. Well, the blood. Oh shit! About to say the blood's not going to be invisible. Shit. Yeah, he's going to have to leave him to die if he swings again. What do you do? And he's running out of breath. Anybody going to come help? Maybe he's like the blood stopped here. Maybe they turned a different direction. Oh, God, Knuckle. <laughs> that desperate scream he just yelled out of Knuckle's name was great. <laughs> He's re Knuckle has what retreated three different times. So is this like the last stand for real? For real? Don't. Why would you even say let them escape? I mean, I guess he knows that somebody's invisible. they still sitting there? I mean, he's got to be out of breath by now.
370,000. You can't do that. That's the only upper hand you guys have on him right now because you physically can't damage him. That's the only thing. Oh, you can so you can speak in God's accomplice and it not be heard. He let him go. Fuck. You gotta go, you're gonna run out of breath. Don't die on me. You've been working to have that thing bottom out. Don't do it. He's gonna do it. Knuckles too emotional to not do that. He's gonna take it off. Shit. He bottomed out. Or did he take it off? I don't know what that animation means. I think he took it off. Uh, they did all that work. Knuckle, you plan on taking this man out 1v1 or what? Now that can you even trust UP to not go slice that man's head off? <sighs> They've been building that up forever. You better come with something serious, Knuckle, which we know you're not, but good lord. He's out. He knows Knuckle can't do anything. They're not a threat to him. Yeah. Letting them go, like you said, with the deal. He'll let them go. Why is he leaving them alive, exactly? If he cared about the king's safety, why leave? Yeah. They're not a threat to him, though. He liked? He wants to do it again when he can get a better fight. He's got some Goku complex going on. He's got some Hisoka letting Gon grow. You evolved mentally. That's a dope shot. I still don't know what that guy with the mustache is, but he's like grateful for them. Of course, agreed. He definitely had a sign of uh, cheering right there. Pretty much all they did was make Yupi stronger. <laughs> not only did they not continue to keep him away from the king and the other royal guards. And not only did they not kill him, you made him stronger. <laughs> Harness his abilities. Uh, f control his rage. Mentally take another level. Like, I think all in all it was a loss.
You lost shoot and now moral in the process. Y'all need to get him through one of those portals quick. That's been Knuckles' weakness this whole plan. He was supposed to keep moving forward. He let his emotions get to him every time. He doesn't have any rage or fight in him left, yeah. What up, no? Bro, you've been stressing that much? Bro. He's gonna die of just... A p Yo, he's freaking me out. They leave now, the guard will make it in time. Their job is done, and so is ours. Alright, it's time to get the fuck out. He's... he's gonna die. He's so stressed, his damn hair's falling out. Yeah, what are you doing? You guys coming? So the only two left on the... I was about to say... You're going to leave the two kids left by themselves. Two kids and an octopus. Dang. Two of my top five favorite characters. They're out. They're out. So Nove said, even if they leave right now, they won't reach the destination in time. Because they can't get there fast enough? Or because they think Netter will be, Netter will be able to kill him before they get there? That was a pretty good episode. Two good episodes back to back. Oh, okay. We about to get a, um, I wonder if we'll get a, um, Knuckle, Kilua, and Gaunt. No, Gaunt's not going to move. A Knuckle, Kilua versus Poof action. Pretty solid episode right there. Um, nothing to, nothing to really deep dive into ability wise. I mean, everything was straightforward. We didn't get any kind of lore or mystery or, what was that other than Yupi kind of mentally maturing? I mean, I think you guys have let me know. And I think it was even stated in the anime. Mentally, Yupi is the, the weakest of the three. Like, he's just straight, like, I see, I attack, I fight, I defend. Like, that's it. Um, now he's starting to see, like, he can grow and can become stronger and can control his rage to benefit him. And he was able to reach that through humans who he thought was weak, but now he acknowledges, like, we're seeing like mental growth with him. Um, we saw Poof's plan. He's going to agree to stay in that room. Um, but in return, he wants the two of them, I guess, to attempt to extract information from Gone. Where's the king? What have you guys been like? He wants the whole plan. He wants the whole, he wants everything without saying it. And he said telepathically, if it doesn't happen, there's going to be some bloodshed in this room. <laughs> um, Here's what I'm I'm interested in. Gon's not going to say anything. He's on some power rage trip right now. Um, if Poof makes a move for Komogi or for Gon, does Pito step in and help Gon to push him out of the way or stop him from messing things up? Um, we know Pito's pretty exposed, but she could still possibly do so. Well, I don't know if she can even focus on anything other than that. We know she can't really do anything else end wise or ability wise while that's going on, but could she hand to hand spar or anything like that or move around? Um, I don't know if it'll come to that or not. I don't know. Cause I have a feeling God's not going to say anything. Yuppie's going to get, I mean, Poof's going to get frustrated. He's going to blitz him. Does gone do something amazing and one hit him out of the room. <laughs> um, does Pito step in? Um, I don't know. It'll be very, uh, 
very interesting to see. Um, besides that, pretty solid episode. There's not much like, oh, what was that? What's that ability? We got to deep dive into it. We can scroll through real quick just to see if there's anything really that we really, really forgot. Um, yeah, Kilua like pulling out the electric from the wall was pretty great. Um, we got these two going back and forth with Gone. Then we got his him raging. And, I mean, I'm pretty sure all there is to his abilities, it's just physical. I don't think he's going to conjure something, any kind of energy blast or balls or summon or manipulate anything. Like, it's just him. The hooves, I guess, to make him faster. I don't know what the head is for other than the maybe design or speed. He has a damn blade on his arm. I don't know if he can put Nen on that blade to make it longer, even sharper than it naturally is. What this spear, it looks like a cane, like a walking stick with the mask on it. What that has to do with anything, <laughs> um, I don't really know. I'll try to brighten this up for you so you guys can see what I'm talking about here. I mean, I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. What that has to do functionality-wise, um, as far as fighting goes, I'm not 100% sure. Maybe it just, maybe it doesn't serve anything. Who knows? Um, yeah, so we saw him rage. Um, Moral, damn near dying. It looks like Moral's really out for the count. Um, Chameleon showing up to save the day. And yeah, that's pretty much it. And Knuckle really dis taking off, um, disengaging his uh, APR, which is so wild. So you pretty much lost shoot. In turn, lost moral and made one of the royal guards stronger than you found him. And that's all you accomplished. That's not good. <laughs> that is not good. But like Knuckle said, he said he heard from one of the chairman's associates, which I'm guessing is Zeno. Um, what's the dad's name? I always forget. I always have it. And then when I need to talk about it, I forget it. Um, I'm guessing he kind of relayed back, like, hey, we accomplished our goal. I separated them. And it was their goal. I mean, I guess they had never really planned to kill any of the Royal Guards. The plan was to separate and give Netero a chance 1v1. And like Nov said, they did that. And he, Nov said the Royal Guards won't be able to get to the designated location in time. Does that mean it's too far away? They won't be able to find out where it is? Um... Or that Netero, sh if Netero is to succeed, that the king will be dead by the time they could get there. Um, we'll find out. A very solid episode. Really, really enjoyed it. Um, and uh, last episode as well. Um, what I'm starting to notice, and one I had two people message me on Twitter, and somebody leave it in my YouTube comment section, is you've just got to expect that hunter hunter is more story than action um which i've noticed like the more i think about like i've noticed a lot a lot a lot it's not bad if the storytelling is good you don't need action but i feel like you want action um i definitely want action for sure and maybe it's going to get there but i mean the episodes are going fast and like we've just got i guess i would like to see kind of people we're seeing abilities being used to tell a story other than seeing abilities being used to fight. Um, and I wish we kind of got a little bit more of seeing abilities being used in a fight. Like, I would love to see... like Because we get the dialogue and we hear, like, the plan that's going on and what's doing this and what's doing that. But I would love to see, like, you know, you get it. In, in, and it's not, I mean, you shouldn't compare it to, like, another anime because it's its own thing. Um, but, like, a Dragon Ball or Naruto, where, like, it just goes, like, we don't need, I don't need a narrator. I don't need dialogue. I want to see Moral with his pipe doing some wild shit with his smoke, making clones, uh, trapping people in jail, elevating, uh, disappearing, and him and Yuppie just, like, going at it. Like, hand v. hand. He's thinking he got him. It's a clone. Seeing Moral control his smoke in a way that, like, uh, um, a gar would control his smoke. And, like, I don't need, I don't need, I don't need music in the background. I just need to hear, like, like, fist block it. Like, you know what I'm talking about. Um, 
And I would love just like a little, I would love, I'm sure we're going to get that. I would think, I mean, and, and another thing is because like the Nen and the abilities and the, the specification of like how, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, I don't even know what the word I'm trying to say. How individualistic each person's ability can be in the categories it has. I would love to see how different abilities are used when it's like really time to fight. Um, Because sometimes like there's not going to be dialogue. There's not going to be a master plan handed out. You're going to walk up on the scene and there's going to be somebody in front of you and like you're just going to die. I mean, you're not you're just going to die. You're just going to fight. You're just going to have to. Um, I feel like the last time since we've gotten some like real good hand to hand stuff was um, I want to say back in Heaven's Arena, but it's not that far back in Heaven's Arena. We got a good amount of that in Heaven's Arena. Um, because even if you go as far back as the hunter exam, like we didn't get to see those individual fights of people becoming hunters. Gone fell asleep, got knocked out, par- um, lost consciousness, and everything was recapped to us. And not recapped in a way that we saw all the fights. It was just recapped to us in 10 minutes, and we were on to the next one. In Heaven's Arena, we got some good... I mean, that Gone and Hisoka fight? Like, y'all remember what I'm talking about? Um, I would love if we had more of that throughout. Um, luckily, the storytelling has been good, but I would say I would like some more action. And I'm, I don't want to make it sound like and then people say well you're you're just one of those dragon ball explosion explosion rage fight like you need action um no because it's not like i love storytelling like sitting there in attack on titan and just hitting me with story on top of mystery on top of story um and it could be amazing um but i feel like we we took we went a certain path here and with the phantom troop and seeing all those abilities um and then I feel like the last time we've gotten some good hand to hand in this was um when Knuckle was still alive and we had Kilua and Gone facing off against those kind of like higher ranked ants for the first time where they met that um what's the name of it? I gotta look this up. What's the half man half horse? What's it what's its name? I wanna say Matador, but it's not a matter. Centaur, Centaur when Knuckle was facing off against the Centaur and Gon was going against the Centipede. And, um, like, that's the last time we got some good, like, kind of like, there's no, I don't need talking, I don't need explanation, you don't got to tell me, I don't need the narrator, that they just kind of, like, went at it, you know? And it was good stuff. Um, so the story has been great, and I'm I'm guessing, I don't, I mean, I don't know if I'm, I don't know what to, what to make of it. Um, I don't know if, um, I mean, I know Gon and Pito will fight, is it going to span across a couple episodes? Is it going to be handled in five minutes? Is it going to be more of um, the narrator telling us something like, during this time that Gon's been building his rage, he's been thinking of a single blow that he could take Pito out with. And because we know what she can physically do, we, when she hit the scene, she was able to cover ground between the nest and Knuckle in 0.2 seconds. Um, is he just going to destroy her in one hit? Um, are we gonna are Netero, are Netero and the King really gonna go at it? Or are we just gonna see Netero with one ability and it's gonna get explained to us what it does and we're gonna see it in effect? Like I don't know. Um, but sometimes you just want some like good hand, and I feel like we've been building to this climax, um, and I, I'm hoping we get a lot of it. Not a lot of a lot of it meaning like I don't need Dragon Ball sparring for six episodes straight, but we have almost twenty episodes left. I would like to see some good fighting before it ends and more than just like one episode or two. Um, I would like to see some like just people going at it. I don't need you. I don't need to hear about a trap. I don't need to hear about a plan. I just want to see two people that don't know each other's abilities and we just go, you know, so maybe we'll get that. Maybe we won't. Um, That's going to be a very big deciding factor on like, where their anime will rank for me when it's all said and done. Um, We're holding out hope, fingers crossed, and we'll see how it ends. Um, Yeah, that's episode... I don't even know how we got on that rant right there, but we did. (laughs) Um, 121, this episode will go up Monday, and we are live reacting to episode 125 and 126 will both be on Twitch, which I think is the week of Christmas, if I'm correct. Um, Because this week you guys are seeing this will be 121 and 122. 123, 124, yeah, so the week of Christmas. Um, 
So maybe we'll do like a Saturday and a Monday. We won't do it on the day of Christmas, but next week, next weekend, um, we'll figure that out um, and go from there. So like, share, favorite, subscribe, and as always,